Ahead of the snowstorm coming to the northeast this weekend, trucking companies are preparing for a short disruption in the supply chain, but one company in our area believes it will only cause a minor disruption compared to what they're dealing with now amidst the pandemic. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Stroop has more. Right now, trucks are having an easy time driving in the snow, but storms headed to the northeast are packing more of a punch than these flurries which has all eyes at Calix Logistics Incorporated in Yatesville on the radar. Effectively, what that does is back us up for a day or back the stores up or the distributors. We typically go to distributors. Tommy Grimes is the chief operating officer at Calix. He doesn't foresee this storm making conditions much different than they are now. Today, if you go into a, a, a supermarket, there is a lot of bare shelves. You know, we've already got a very serious supply chain issue. Uh, and this will make it just a little bit worse. Grimes says he doesn't know what the exact solution is to the supply chain issue facing the United States right now. But he tells Newswatch 16 it could be helped largely in part by one change made at the federal level. On changing the law and the uh, age to be an interstate truck driver. Today it's 21. But I would say that at 18, I could be drafted, I could go to war, I can go overseas, put a machine gun in my hand. Grimes says 18-year-olds are coming to his business eager to work, and the new hire training program prioritizes safety and is proven to lower accidents among new drivers. You can drive a tractor trailer at the age of 18, but you cannot cross state lines. Grimes says for his company, it isn't worth hiring someone at that age because of that rule. But we can't put that same 18-year-old in a truck to drive from here in Pennsylvania across the border into New Jersey because it's illegal. Grimes thinks a change from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration would bring some relief. In our industry specifically, we were short drivers before COVID hit. COVID hit and now has put us even further behind. The projections are that, that there won't be enough of a workforce um, and maybe building workforce to get us out of this before 2030. That's scary. In the meantime, Grimes says he will continue to try and attract as many drivers as possible until he can make his case to someone at the federal level who will listen. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.